Hi guys, Dave here with a new lesson for you today. Uh, we're going to look at Love and Happiness by Al Green and I'm going to take you through the main rhythm guitar parts. Um, I had a request to do this one, so thanks to Roy for this suggestion. And I'll get cracking straight on with the song. The whole song's pretty much in the key of G sharp minor and we're going to start with a barred G sharp minor chord. So that's 4th fret across all 6 strings, then 6th fret on the D and 6th fret on the A. And we hold that chord and we just play from the 6th string down to the 1st. Like so. And there's a little pause. And then we're going to play a C sharp minor chord. 4th fret again, from the 5th string down to the 1st, and then we're going to hold down 7th fret on the E string, 5th on the B, and 6th on the D. Give it a quick strum, then we go back to the G sharp minor chord, start just by picking the 6th string, and then play the whole chord. There's a little pause, and then we play this little feel, basically starting with the chord held down, pick down from the E string down to the G, then we're going to do a little pull off on the G string from 6 to 4, and then play 6th fret on the A string. And basically really you're doing it while you're holding the chord. You have to move your little finger over to do the pull off. Everything else stays where it is. There's another pause, and then staying on that G sharp minor chord. So, what we're doing there is um, playing from the A string down to the B, and then do the same thing in reverse B to A. play the G and the B strings. Another little pause, and then on the record you hear some clicks, which you might be on the guitar, just muting the strings off and just going one, two, three, four, one, and then you hear this little lead fill. Um, um, that is basically this, ninth fret on the B, slide into it, then 7 on the E, 9, slide into 11, then 9 on the B, 9 on the G, then A, uh, sorry, 8th fret on the G, and then it goes into the chord, or if you're just a lead guitarist, you could end on the 7th fret. At that point, we're going to be into the chords for the chorus. To play that, this is the chorus section. You're going to start on an E7 shape. Basically, it's the same as a C7, open C7 shape, you may know that. Up here on the 5th fret, we're going to play 5th fret on the B. 7 on the G, 6 on the D, and 7 on the A. And let the back of the index finger choke off the first string. You strum the chord, relax it, and get a mute. Like that. Do that twice. Then we move the whole shape down one fret, play the chord, mute, play the chord one more time, and then play a G sharp minor chord. Like that. Hold the chord, and then for the second bar, you're gonna just play the bass string on the second half, on the one end, second half of beat one, and then we're gonna play this for the next three beats. You play the chord, Cut it off, and then you either play the, the bass strings of the chord or the middle strings. It, not really super important that you get it exactly right. It's the feel, the kind of pulsing feel that you'll get 
from playing this this way. So chord, and then like bass strings really. So you get that sort of effect. Together, I'm going to do this with drums at about 60 beats per minute. So it's a little bit slower than the record, but it'll give you an idea of the timing. So here we go, drums. Okay, so that's basically what happens in the chorus. It just goes around that sequence twice. Okay, for the verse. Right, so for the first two bars, we're going to start with, it's a B chord, basically. But we're just going to bar across the fourth fret on the B, G, and D strings. I'm just going to play the G and D strings to begin with twice, little rest in between, then play it again, then just play the D string followed by the B. So you get. Okay. Second bar, we're going to move to a B7 chord, seven, second fret from the A string down to the E string. And we're also holding down 4th fret on the B, 4th fret on the D. And we're going to pick from the A string down to the B string. And then come back up G string, D string. Like that. Then we get this. So for that we're playing um, G sharp minor. So strum, mute, strum, and then we're going to move down to an F sharp major chord. So second fret bar across, third fret on the G, fourth fret on the D, fourth fret on the A. Um, although I'm playing big shapes, I'm only really hitting the treble strings on this. So maybe about the first three or four strings possibly. And again playing a very short, very staccato. Like that. So strum, mute, strum, then the F. Nice and short. And then on the three end, there's a little um, muted strum. You can do it if you like. And then on beat four, just let it ring. So you get And you get three bars of that. Then onto this nice little fill. So for that we're playing a D chord. Bar across the seventh fret this time, across the B, G, and D strings. One strum. Part of a C sharp minor chord, that's 5th fret on the B, 6th fret on the G, 6th on the D, and then that barred B chord again. While you're still holding down the chord, we're going to do a little pull off on the 2nd string, the B string, from 5 to 4, then pick the G and D strings. Then you do that again. Then the fill at the end is slightly different. That time we're pulling off from 6 to 4 on the G, and then just pick 6 4 on the D. That whole thing gets repeated again. And then there's an extra bar of. 
So D, C sharp minor again, the B, and then you get this little run up which puts you into the chorus chords. So that's 7 on the E, 5 and 6 on the A. And that just leads you back into those chorus chords. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the verse section slowly. Again, I'll put the drums on, see if I can get this right. So that's how it leads into the chorus chords. Um, the only other section that you come across, and it happens a few times, is, I've called it a bridge, but it's mainly where the horns are being played, and there's a big section in the middle where it's just riffing around on a G sharp minor. Now, if you want to keep it simple, you could just do something similar to the chorus, where you just play the chord, and then the bass strings. So uh, that would be the easy option. Um, the thing that actually happens on the record is this. Right, to play that, it's all based around that G sharp minor shape again. And the you kind of get a little bit of a mute at the beginning and then on the one hand you're just playing the bass strings just the top two so you get that sort of thing so that's one and then on beat two you get this you get a double pull off this is on the G and D strings and you're pulling off from six to four and then just playing the sixth string. So you get. Then you play, for beat three, you play the top three strings, or the three treble strings on the chord. Sometimes it's a chord, sometimes it's just a mute. So feel free to vary that. So. And then it goes back to that sixth string as a short note as well. Like that. That's beat three and then beat four does a slide up to fret eight on the E string and then bar basically going back to the chord shape bar across the full fret play the top two or three strings and then you do a little hammer on the sixth fret on the A string. So you get that. Slowly Against some drums as well at a slow tempo so you can get an idea of how it sits against the beat.
and that's that's the main the main parts to the song. I'll leave you to work out the actual um, order of all those parts, but that's all the chords and all the kind of rhythm guitar parts for this song. Okay, I hope this has helped you learn this song. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I will see you for one real soon. Cheers, guys. See you later.